Whether you're an experienced actor or acting for the first time and want to incorporate Stanislavski into your art, <laughs> this video separates the wheat from the chaff. This is the ultimate Stanislavski guide. Hello, welcome to Organic Acting. I'm not going to get into Stanislavski's background. I've done that in other videos. I know, tragic, right? Suffice it to say, Konstantin Stanislavski wanted imaginary truth on stage. He didn't want pretending. He didn't want an actor showing off. He wanted actors to experience their roles. Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel it, Captain Compost? The simplest and most direct way you can do this is by working on the given circumstances of the scene. Or, more specifically, the five W's. Who am I? Where am I? Why am I there? What time is it? And finally, what do I want? This very simple and straightforward list is one you can apply to any scene or story beat. Why do you need to know these things? How do the given circumstances help you perform truthfully in your role? Well, let's break it down. The who, who your character is. The where, the geography of the scene. The why, what has gone on just before? What has led you to this moment or place? Time, the time of the scene. These elements are important not just because they're the facts given by the writer, but they will completely transform how a scene is played and how you as an actor say your lines. Think about it this way. How your character speaks at a fairground at 8pm would be completely different to how they would speak at 4am in a graveyard. Given circumstances help the scene lift from the page and become more realistic and engaging more akin to what we know as real life. But Chris, I hear you say, that was only four of the five W's. What about the last one? What do I want? And you're right. This deserves its own mention, as the last W is perhaps one of the most important techniques in all of Stanislavski's system. Knowing what your character wants, what their objective is, what they are aiming for is paramount. All characters want something. All characters are driven to achieve something. That want or drive may change over the course of a plot, but any character worth his or her salt has an objective. Your job as an actor is to work out what that objective is. That can be at the beginning of the play, the beginning of a scene, the scene as a whole, or the entire play. Work out what your character wants and play that want. The emotion, the fear, the anger, the joy, those things will come naturally from you playing your character's objective. What do you want? Stanislavski, naturalism, realism. All these movements speak of a slice of life on stage. Put simply, that means there is a fourth wall. If you're on stage, there is no audience, only the fourth wall to the room you're in. If you're acting in screen or television, the same rule applies. The crew and the camera aren't there. Stanislavski wanted actors to stop overacting, to stop showing off. He wanted actors to realistically experience the imaginary life of the stage. Stop trying to show off to your best friend sitting on the back row. Invest in the imaginary life around you. Being an actor is sometimes like being a detective. You're given a character, a life, a past, a present, a future. A big part of the evidence you need to sift through is the script and its facts. These facts not only tell you who the character is, but your character's relationship and attitude to the people around them. Make a list of the following. All the things your character says about themselves. All the things your character says about other characters. All the things other characters say about your character. What did he say? <laughs> hey, I didn't say that being the Stanislavski an actor was easy. There's a lot of work here. But if you take the time, invest, work all this stuff out and write it down, it pays dividends when you're off script and starting to perform. You will know your character's attitude towards others as well as the attitudes of the other characters towards you. 
It lifts your performance and the realism of the scene. Give it a try. Yes, Wilson! Creating an imaginary life on the stage is hard work. This is why Stanislavski created not only his system, but a tool called the Magic If. The Magic If allows you to say to yourself, if this set of given circumstances were true, if my character were real, if I were really sitting in a saloon in 19th century Wyoming, how would I react? The magic if doesn't force you to say, this is real and I must believe in it, and if I don't, I'm a bad actor. The magic if invites you to play along and say, I know I'm an actor and I know I'm sat on a chair on a theatre stage, but if this scene were real, how would they react in this moment? If I said to you, what would you do if a madman broke down your door with an axe and forced his way inside your home, you'd have an idea of how you'd react. If I said that madman really was outside of your front door right now, you'd say to me, yeah, whatever Chris, don't be stupid. It'd be difficult for you to suspend your disbelief. The magic if helps you to sidestep that. Try it in any scene. What if this were really happening? How would I react? How would my character react? Here's Johnny! <laughs> Stanislavski wanted his actors to be fit, supple, expressive, as a dancer would be. He wanted their voices to have the same qualities. Put simply, look after yourself. Keep fit, healthy, mobile, ready to use your physical tools to portray your next character effectively. Keep your voice in good nick. Drink plenty of water, exercise it, work on your diction and voice control should the time come for you to perform on stage and send your words to the back of the theatre. Time spent now on honing your equipment, your body and voice, will make you a compelling performer and a Stanislavski an actor. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me further, there's a super thanks button just below. That allows you to contribute to the channel and help me to keep creating fresh content. You can help me out in other ways by liking this video, sharing it and subscribing. I've been Chris and I will see you next time. Bye bye.